Well, the horses are the real stars of the show here at Saratoga, but there are human stars. They're called jockeys, and we've got the winningest jockey of all time here at Saratoga to tell you about a day in his life as a jockey. Here's Jerry Bailey. Uh, normally, jockeys, we rose at between 5.30 and 6 o'clock in the morning and headed out to the racetrack for our morning workouts. And morning workouts really are comprised of visiting barns that you would ride for trainers in the future, maybe that day. You'd be visiting the mounts, the horses it, that you're going to ride in the next day, two, maybe in the next week or two. The, the training hours are typically from 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning until about 10 a.m. in the morning. By 11 o'clock in the morning, I would make my way back to the track, track itself and head to the jockey's room. The very first thing that I do when I hit the jockey's quarters is weigh myself. Come on in, we'll do this. Uh, if, it was a, if it was a fruitful night with food the night before, uh, a lot of liquids, it could be pretty tight and I'm expecting bad news when I step on that scale. So this would be either put a smile on my face or a frown on my face. Thank you. Nobody in the jockey's room during racing hours except the jockeys and their employees. My day was pretty much go in here, get in, the, get in the shower, shower off, go in the steam room for about 25 to 30 minutes. I would, I would do a little calisthenics, I would stretch, I would shave, I would just loosen up basically if you will. And I would lose a pound, a pound and a half in there doing that. This is the masseur's room. An another uh, pretty good place for a jockey to cool down, regroup. I might come in here and lay down with a towel over me for 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I told you I might take a, a little brief nap. It would probably happen here. There's a lot of moving parts in the jocks room. Um, there's a lot of equipment. I mean, we call it our corner as jockeys. We each have an individual locker and we have one valet that takes care of us from one to as many as five jockeys at one particular time. So this was my corner when I was riding. I call it my corner. I shared it with several other jockeys. And if, uh, the equipment, the actual saddles, are, are located down below. And, and I'll pull out one saddle here. This is a particularly big saddle. Uh, let me get a smaller saddle. This saddle would weigh about, oh, probably about three and a half or four pounds. This saddle would weigh about a pound and a half. You can see the difference. And you would use this saddle on horses that are weighted with higher weights, unless you're very heavy that day. And this saddle would obviously be used for horses with lesser weights. But before the silks go on for each particular race, We'll put on our, our safety vest. It's called a flak jacket, if you will. Uh, it's to minimize uh, injuries if, if and when we fall. And it's not a question of if you're gonna fall, it's when in, in, uh, in this business. It's the only business I know that the ambulance follows you. So yeah, it's a risky business. Uh, and that's kind of the, the bad side of it. You've seen the, the weight losing, early mornings, possibility of injury, but there's a lot of good side too. There's a lot of thrill and personal satisfaction from winning. And part of the winning is preparation. And this is where the preparation starts. Not only exercising the horses in the morning that you might ride in the future, but reading the daily racing form. The Wall Street Journal, if you will, for jockeys. It, it's unique in Saratoga that they walk through the crowd. And it's, it's, it's for a reason. We love to interact with the fans here at Saratoga. They're really nice. And all the kids, even adults, love the autographs. So, so as, we, as a jockey enters the paddock in the walking room, the horse will already have been saddled. And he goes now to meet the owner and her trainer and kind of get last minute's instructions. Horses are saddled in the saddling enclosures over there. That saddle's actually put on, tightened up, ready to go. And each individual tree has a number on it. So if I'm riding number 11, I've got to go over to that tree over there with number 11 on it. And that's where my horse will stop. So I'll go over and I'll get on him. So once the jockey's mounted, he's off to the track. We'll warm up the horse for four or five minutes, give me a chance to feel the horse out if I've never ridden him before. Gives me a chance to feel how he moves, uh, but mostly just for the horse to limber up before the race. The race is off, hopefully we win. The team that was just here discussing instructions will have big smiles on their face and will be happy and we'll all make a lot of money.